How you going? I'm doing something a little different this time. This is kind of like a diss track, except with no rapping, no music, and no views. This man here, because science, and his buddy Alan Pan, were testing whether they could recreate Scorpion's killer chain death move from Mortal Kombat, where Scorpion proceeds to cut a person in half with a red hot chain. And they tested this by heating up a chain, kind of inconsistently, and then they proceeded to lightly lay down the chain on top of the man like they were laying a blanket on top of a baby. And then they said, nah, this wouldn't work. And this just isn't how you cut stuff. And to me, it doesn't seem like a great test. There needed to be some kind of force involved. So I reckon if a strong chain boy was trying to cut someone in half with a chain, I imagine you would give the chain a good yank and then pull the chain across the body. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see whether Scorpion's chain can actually cut someone in half. Fight! So in their test, they used a strange looking dummy that was made out of silicon rubber, the same stuff that fleshlights are made out of. So I thought a better human flesh analog would be real flesh. So I stole my family's pork roast. Also, I'm gonna heat up the chain inside a furnace instead of using a torch. So that way the whole chain heats up and I can heat it to over 1000 degrees Celsius or 1832 Fahrenheit for you primitive Americans. So before we do that, let's do a test control so we have something to compare the hot chain to. Um, so without any chain, you can see there isn't much damage to the pig. Okay, so this is what a normal unheated chain does to the pork roast, which is not very much. So let's put in the chain and heat it up. And because I'm using a galvanized chain, I'm going to let all the zinc burn off and stay in the safety of my home. And while it's heating up, here's a poem I wrote about my Patreons. I like you. You are very nice. You give me money so maybe I could buy mice. Thank you. And now it's nice and hot. Let's see what a 1000 degree chain does to a pork roast. Fight. A little juicy slow -mo. and look at that the chain did manage to easily cut through the meat and did way better than our control test I think because I was pulling it across it kind of acted as a serration and because it was so hot as well it easily melted through the flesh. I would pretty confidently say that if the chain managed to stay yellow hot, like in the game, and you were someone a lot stronger than me, like a buff scorpion dude, you would easily be able to rip a person in half. Like he works out so much, he can jump through a concrete floor. And the bone probably wouldn't get cut in half, but then again, the hot chain might weaken it enough for it to break. And I haven't tested it, so I don't know. So there you go. Don't believe everything you see on TV. And thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out my other stuff.